Hello and welcome to Planet Pluto Travel and I'm your host Alana DeRose. I'm a keep a rising. Say keep going higher. I keep going higher. I keep yeah, I keep yeah. I keep. We are now venturing out of Illinois into other parts of the Midwest with Notre Dame University. Huge rival of USC or the University of Southern California aka My Dream School. Notre Dame is located 1 hour and 34 minutes away from downtown Chicago two hours and 35 minutes away from Indianapolis, and seven minutes away from South Bend, Indiana, in Notre Dame, Indiana. However, even though South Bend is so close, we'll be focusing on the city of Notre Dame and what to do there. Surprise, I've never mentioned this before, but one thing you can do is attend a Notre Dame sporting event. The Fighting Irish has sports games happening all year long, with football in the fall and baseball and softball in the spring. Sports games are always super fun and exciting, even if you know nothing about the sport. Just the atmosphere gives you so much adrenaline and excitement during that two-hour period. Notre Dame is currently selling tickets for their football team's 2021 season, and you don't want to miss out, especially if you're lucky enough to get tickets for the game against USC. It's impossible to not be a sports fan. You always have fun, no matter how much you know or don't know. However, if you're more of a car fan, then you can visit the Stude Baker National Museum. The Stude Baker National Museum is located 10 minutes away from the Notre Dame campus. Here you can see vintage cars, wagons, carriages, and military vehicles created by Stude Baker Corporation in World War I and World War II. You can also see some Packard production and costume cars exhibiting Stude Baker's merge with Packard. This museum has three floors. The main floor exhibits Stu Baker history and vehicles from the 1800s to 1934. Then on the upper level, that's where you'll see cars from 1934 and so on. And the lower level is where the military mobiles and equipment that Stu Baker made in both world wars. That's, that's kind of cool. And I do wonder if Captain America ever used one of those machines in World War II. Well... We can find out at the Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum. Now, the Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum is pretty far away as it's a 27-minute drive from the Notre Dame campus, but it'll sure be worth it. At this museum, you'll see 80 years of history from comic books to toys to movies. One of the features you'll see at this museum is a re replica of the Batcave from the 1960s TV series and Adam West Batman costume. You can also see the original shield used in the Captain America movie and comics from 1938 to 1935 and rare toys from 1956 to 1969. These are just some of the rare items among the 70,000 different comic books and 10,000 toys. They also have an arcade with DC and Marvel themed games. However, Maybe you just want to be outside and not watch a sports game, but do something in general and pumping of your own. Well, you can visit the East Race Waterway in South Bend, Indiana. Now, I know I said we'd be focusing on Notre Dame, but East Race Waterway looks like a fun experience is, and is only seven minutes away from the campus. Here, you can choose between rafting or kayaking, starting at prices as low as $6. Since it is in the Midwest, and it gets super cold in the Midwest. It's annoying. The East Race Waterway is only open June 6th through September 5th, leaving you about three months to try this attraction out. So I would just visiting Notre Dame in the summer if you really want to try this. The waterway is open on Saturdays and Sundays. That's it from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. and 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays. They have single, two, and three ride passes, and passes are per person and can't be transferable to someone. They also have both a kayaking and rafting day pass, so you can get unlimited rides down the East Waterway for $15 per person for kayaking and $20 per person for rafting. They also sell a season pass for $50 per person if you end up coming to Notre Dame and want to make this a regular visit. Now, as usual, you tend to get hungry after a full day of whether that be kayaking, visiting museums, or cheering on the football team. 
And you can stop at restaurants such as Chipotle, Five Guys, and Blaze Pizza. But they also have a Salsa's Mexican Grill, Uptown Kitchen, Ruchi Japanese Fusion and Bar, and Smash Burger. Smash Burger is a fast food restaurant located 8 minutes away from Notre Dame and has 37 different locations across the U.S. Here you can order a Smash Burger, obviously, Smash Fries, Salad, Black Bean Burgers, Chicken Sandwiches, Shakes, and a kid's meal for the kiddos. And as usual, the full Smash Burger menu is down in the description below. Salsa's Mexican Grill is a Mexican restaurant located 10 minutes away from the university. Here you can try flautas, zapatillas, fajita nachos, baja empanadas, pork carnitas, enchiladas, quesadillas, an avocado cheeseburger, fish tacos, carne asada, steak del bravo, and polo huasteco. And just like Smash Burger, the full salsa Mexican grill menu is down in the description below. Uptown Kitchen is like a normal family restaurant located 12 minutes away from Notre Dame and is open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. every single day. Here they serve pizza, like Italian pizza, like margarita pizza, and pancakes, and French toast, salads, turkey, veggie burgers, regular burgers, club sandwiches, burritos, omelets, and oatmeal. And the full Uptown Kitchen menu is down in the description below. Now, Buchi Japanese Fusion and Bar is a Japanese restaurant located seven minutes away from the university's campus and is open on Tuesday through Sunday. They recently just closed the restaurant on Mondays. So, yeah. And here they serve scallion pancakes, gyoza, kiki shrimp, ginger salad, sushi, sashimi, nigiri, hibachi, teriyaki shrimp, chicken, steak, Tofu, salmon, sea scallop, and calamari, and rice and noodles. And the full Wuchi menu is down in the description below. Vita Ducero Spes. Our life, our sweetness, our hope. Now that is all I have for you today. If you would like to see more news, reviews, and blogs, of course you do. Hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload more content also as usual the blog for this will be posted down in the description below just in case you know you want to take a quick look and read it so go ahead and do that also follow us on social media because why not you'll be notified when we upload new videos and there's just other things you don't see on YouTube that you will see on other social media platforms. Follow us on that so you can get more insight into the Planet Pluto travel community. And with all that being said, bye you guys and stay safe.